Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lexi and today we're doing another pick a card. Today's pick a card, we are taking a look at how your energy is shifting over the next six months. So what is leaving energetically and what you are aligning with. Uh, we're filming in my bedroom because my workroom is very, very hot and stuffy and I would have passed out because it is so hot. So I thought I'd come somewhere cooler. Um, so yeah, I have three piles for you guys to choose from. Pile number one is the Angel Perfume. Pile number two is the Sweet Tooth Perfume. And pile number three is the REM Perfume. So see which perfume you're drawn to. The timestamps are going to be in the description box as usual. And I will see you guys at your timestamps. Hey Palwyn, welcome to your reading. So we are taking a look at how your energy is shifting over the next six months. So I'm going to start with tarot and then we'll move on to your oracle cards. So let's get in. So pile number one, please spirit guides, tap me into... The collective of my pile number ones, please. As I start, Luna has just arrived <laughs> very proudly. Um, pile number one, please, spirit guides. Pile number one. What is shifting in my pile number one's energy field over the next six months? What is shifting over the next six months for my pile number ones? Okay, we have the Hierophant. We have the Queen of Wands. What is shifting for my pile number ones over the next six months, please, for it, guys? We have the King of Wands. And we have the Queen of Swords. Okay. There we go. They fit nice. And the back of the deck, we have the Six of Cups. Okay, I'm going to pop that by here. Okay, the first thing that I'm getting when I tap into you guys is pile. I literally feel like I'm falling back, but it feels like I'm I'm falling into alignment. Because over the, six, the next, and this is like now, because I feel like over the next six months, I keep being shown Aries energy. Like, I feel like there's something that you're almost kickstarting. I, I don't know if there's an idea that you've had for a while in terms of your career, your lifestyle, like something that you wanted to initiate. Um, but I keep feeling like I'm starting something and it's falling through. And this is past energy. This isn't anything that's showing up in the spread. This is just what I'm like feeling like what's been gone. I feel like I'm either a little bit directionless, but I have an idea of what I want to do, but I'm not knowing how to like put it into action. Or I feel like every time I'm trying to do something, I'm falling through. Like every time I'm trying to start something, it's like I'm I'm running full pelt, but it's almost like I didn't tie my shoes or I'm running, but I kind of don't know where the the beginning of the races but i'm just kind of running anyway so there's like almost like a feeling of something feeling a little directionless or something feeling like i'm trying to start it and it's fallen through but what i keep being shown is something falling into alignment i keep being shown something needing to be like prepped it's almost like i had all the ingredients and all the tools but like i didn't have one specific specific idea of what recipe i was going to create i didn't have i didn't have um the right appliances uh maybe the appliances that i need hadn't even come out yet or they were out of stock and i had to wait for the right one there's something about something not like and this is past energy it's almost feels like there's something that just wasn't aligning there was something that you couldn't see but what i keep being shown and it almost feels like it's coming in now. I keep being shown you reaching a point where I almost feel like I'm letting go of something. Like I'm falling back. Um, The only way, because I keep being shown the nine of swords. So I don't know if you guys have had anxiety over where you've wanted to head recently. Or you've just been having a lot of worry in, in regards to your career. Or why, where you've wanted to head there. Or what foot you'd like to step forward. I almost feel like I'm fogged. I feel like I'm blocked. Like I can't see the way forward. But I know that like my heart's connecting to something or I kind of know the path but not really 
there's a frog there i keep being shown you kind of like letting go and i keep feeling like i'm falling back into alignment like i'm falling back but i'm listening more to my heart space and i saw a tweet the other day and it was something like it's not about aligning with like a timeline that you're desiring it's about falling into alignment with what your heart truly wants and listening to your heart and that's where the real movement takes place and i feel like that coming through I feel like that's a message for this pile because I kind of feel like I'm f surrendering, like I'm flowing back and I'm tapping more into my heart space. And I kind of feel flatlining, like I'm flatlining, like I feel stuck. But instead of fighting the current, it's like for a second, I feel like I'm fighting this current of void, like nothingness. I don't know what I'm doing. I feel lost. I feel stuck. But instead of fighting it, I'm learning to just kind of flow. And as I'm flowing, I'm kind of I know this sounds weird but I'm falling into an energy of not doing anything like I'm just being present I'm not trying to you know kickstart like you know the gym again or I'm not trying to kickstart that business idea I'm not trying to push I'm just kind of like falling back for a second and then I keep feeling like I'm in I, I feel like I'm in kind of like silence that's the only way I can describe it and you know like really far in the background like you can kind of hear music or you can hear noises like if you're in like a forest you can hear the singing of the trees you can hear the breeze and there's all these sounds that if your mind was everywhere or if you were focused on something else they would be so far in the background you wouldn't really un understand that they were there or know that they were there that's what i'm tapping into i feel like i'm falling back I'm just allowing myself to be present i'm almost kind of just getting inspired by what's in front of me my, my mind isn't on Oh, I've got to do this, 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 and this. My mind isn't on that. I'm not trying to find this key. I'm just kind of flowing. And all of a sudden it's like I'm I'm hearing like sounds of the forest, but it's almost like these ideas and these intuitive nudges. And then it's like just it's almost like naturally I'm taking a leap. Instead of preparing and going and running and trying to take this leap, but then not actually catching onto the vines so you can't jump and then falling back down. Instead of like the prepping and the anxiety, it's almost like I feel inspired. I'm, I'm kind of flowing with the wind. I'm being the show in Pocahontas in Colours of the Wind, like the, the scene where she kind of runs, but she kind of like runs with the wind type of thing. I feel like I'm flowing with the wind and just naturally I run and jump onto this vine, which is that kind of next step. And that's why I keep being shown like all of these ideas come and it's like, aha. And in front of me, especially with the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands here, like I, I keep being shown over the next six months after a moment of kind of flowing, because I see resistance, which may be where you're at right now, feeling a little stuck. I see a moment of flowing and tapping back into your heart space and just asking yourself in the in the present day, what do I want to do today? Even if it's nothing to do with work, nothing to do with what movements you've been wanting to shift and make it's like what do i want to do oh i want to rest oh i want to be out in the sun oh i want to go to the beach oh i want to go to the forest i want to play mario kart like i want to you know i just want to do it i want to go buy a new perfume like whatever it is it's like just doing those little things for you i see your heart it feels like your heart's expanding i see light coming through and then i see a flow happening where these ideas then start to come and i keep being shown the number three so over the next three months i feel like i'm without even realizing taking a leap like something just happens i'm jumping onto a vine and then i just keep being shown a lot of ideas coming through i keep being shown a lot of ideas of whatever it is that you're feeling stuck with now i see a lot of answers and then instead of just knowing that you're meant to go down a path but not knowing how i almost see color i see like i've got a i feel like i've got a map in front of me but everything's colored in i feel like i can see there's a tree there there's a you know pothole there there's you know there's a there's a you turn there, like I'm starting to see with more detail and I know what moves to make now. Um, and I have like this, it's like something's activated in me. Like I feel inspired. I feel inspired and I want to make these moves. And that's where I see you just naturally flowing and making those those moves because I see a lot of, I see the, the way it's been shown to me energetically. It's like resistance, surrendering, flowing, alignment, it's like an activation that comes very quickly because I'm clicking my fingers. It's like sparks. And then it's like, ooh, and then I, I'm like making physical movement then. And I see something that you're stuck on now. And this could be for your career. It feels like something physical. So it could be a career where you're wanting to head to. Maybe you've had a manifestation that you've been wanting to bring in. Um, or you've been like wanting to get back out there in like the dating world or whatever it is. It's like 
something that feels stuck now comes in later on flows in later on something gets sparked later on that's what i'm being shown energetically it's like a pathway um why do we have the six of cups Th there's something okay whatever it is that some of you guys may be stuck on now on not seeing now there's actually something that you've thought of in the past so say now let me just put it in regards to like your career path for example and you've been wanting to do um something career wise and right now you're feeling a little bit stuck about where you want to go and being told there's something you've actually wanted to do in the past something that you actually aligned with in the past but then something else took its place that is actually going to come back around and i feel like that's going to be something that is kind of like that next step forward it's something you visited or you've thought of in the past or it's been a kind of idea in the past i'm being shown like um you know you see the maps like the oh what are they called spider diagrams map mind maps you know and they've got like the thing in the middle and then it's like a cloud and then you've got all the ideas off it you guys know what i mean um i'm being shown that so there's something that would have been on like the drawing board before that you considered or you like the idea of but something else took more of a focus i feel like that's coming back around to take more of a focus now there's something that you've thought of there's something from the past that you're reviving there's something from the past that it just wasn't the time at that point that is coming back around in terms of you know that and again if it apply it to whatever if it's not career and it's lifestyle or um you know your the, the physical side the mental side whatever it is like I'll apply it to whatever but there's something you've tried in the past that it wouldn't have fit in the past but it would fit now. Um, your energy is more aligned with it now. And I see that coming back around. Um, and I see... It almost feels like it's a... Um, you know when you play like video games or whatever. And you have like a little jump in like trampoline thing. That like bounces you to like a higher building. There's something that's going to catapult to you somewhere. Uh, that's what I'm being shown. There's something that's going to catapult you uh, there. But I feel like right now there's like a lack of direction. That I feel realigning is going to bring you that um there's a lack of direction because it's like something needs to align how i'm being shown your energy right now it's like you know when you buy you don't know, have a, a new a newborn like a baby and you buy them sometimes like clothes that don't fit them right now because it's like oh they're gonna grow into them like you know that they're gonna grow into the like nine to twelve months or whatever even if you buy it and the baby's only a couple of weeks old so it's like it doesn't matter if it doesn't fit now there's something that i'm it's like oh they're gonna grow into it and i keep being shown your energy right now aligning with something like i feel like you're growing into something you're I, I keep being shown what's going on for you right now is rapid growth and i feel like that's why you may find that right now you feel a little disconnected because i feel like a lot of your again taken to the heart space i feel like you guys work from the heart i feel like your idea of how do i put this into words it's like your inner compass has shifted your inner compass has changed and i feel like you are um readjusting i think that's the word i would get i feel like you're readjusting to what it is your heart actually wants and i feel like whenever our inner compass change which changes which happens when we grow and we align more with our higher self when that happens timelines shift and timelines change and especially with a lot of you guys that watch my videos you guys do have psychic abilities a lot of the times we can see pathways in front of us whether it's through psychic foresight we see pathways or we just have those visions but when there's an inner compass change and when there's a a shift there those timelines crash and we have to wait for the new ones to align and that takes a second and i feel like that's what's happening right now it doesn't necessarily feel like a rewiring though it doesn't feel like you're being shut down to be activated i don't see that it just feels like the wiring has changed like the the inner compass has shifted north is now south south is now north yeah that's what i'm being shown some of you guys may be going through your nodal reversal because i'm thinking of like the north being the south and the south being the north it's just making me think of the the nodal reversal it's quite interesting so let's pull some oracle cards for you guys pile number one please spirit guides pile number one what is shifting in my pile one's energy over the next six months we have music, harmony. I'm going to put that here. We have new moon, promise. 
one more card please for guys what is shifting in my power number one's energy over the next six months in the next six months i feel like your life may look very different or there's like some sort of routine that is going to be very different or your literal place of work may have changed uh, we have dawn new beginnings there's something that your sights are going to be set on in the next six months that opens up many more timelines um especially with the new moon promise like what planting a seed and then the dawn new beginnings like this there's, there's something in the net by the end of the next six months especially going into autumn i feel like i've got a focus but it's something completely it's not even something that's in it could be in the background like in the subconscious or something you've thought of but there's something right in front of you that i see you putting a lot of your energy into and i see a spark so if you guys have been feeling really dull i feel like your sparks coming back your heart is kind of readjusting um i keep being shown your heart being your compass and it readjusting to where you you're headed to now um and i keep being shown a home so it could be that you're building foundations or something but then i'm also thinking of like i feel like i'm i'm because i'm thinking of the home of fourth house i'm thinking of like the roots i feel like i've nurtured my roots or i feel like i've i feel like this is a direct shift that has happened because of inner work that you've done connected to maybe like old wounds because i keep feeling like maybe in the past what you would have wanted to reach was kind of driven by proving yourself to people are proven um it's almost like i'm making my mark like i'm proving myself i'm proving that i'm good enough i'm proving that i can reach this or it could have been connected to you know when you have like a mother wound and a father wound and it's like we've got to keep keep work 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 working and push ourselves and nothing's enough i feel like that may have been a wound there that i feel like you've cleared um you've kind of cleared the ween, weeds and now you're building up a new kind of set of you're building up the roots again you're building up the foundations again i would say to listen pay attention to music that's just comes to you like whether it's intuitively or like i'm being on somebody in the car and music playing or in like a supermarket and a song plays pay attention to music because i feel like music is actually gonna help the process of the again i'm literally being shown the compass spinning so i feel like the like music is almost gonna help redirect you at this time um i think that you connect to music on a hearty level anyway and i think it's really really gonna help you um and i don't know why i'm being told to look back at old playlists this is only for a select few if you have old playlists i would have a listen because there may be a song or two that you've forgotten about or there may be like a a playlist that may remind you of a specific time and there could be messages there that could help that's another message that i'm getting um but i feel like music is something that's gonna really 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 help you um i'm gonna pull one more card oh i want to say you have the stone people at the back of the deck uh villagers and when we think of anything turning into stone we think of anything turning into concrete a solid form it takes time there's something that you've been growing into or forming into uh which is why because the thing is you guys are very like forward thinking i think that you guys do have those psychic abilities where you can see timelines in front of you because i keep being shown that energetically it's like your heart's known where you've been going but like your mind hasn't made sense of it yet but i feel like some of you guys may be perfectionists so it's almost like this should be happening right now this should be happening and it's almost like i'm trying to physically make things happen before they've energetically aligned or my energy i've energetically aligned like before i've aligned with my heart space you know in this in this new frequency or before i've topped up my energy um it's like i'm trying to bring in a timeline quicker than it's flowing in and that's where that you know resistance is i feel like sometimes you guys may struggle with like it's like if i can if i have if i have a say in it i'm gonna bring it in now it's like i'm not pacing myself i feel like some of you guys struggle to pace it's like if I have an idea, if I know I'm going to go somewhere, even if I don't know all the answers, I'm going to keep trying to push. I keep being shown spirit like rest, chill. You need to get re-inspired. Like you need to flow. And you're like, I got to wake up and I got to do this and I got to do that. And I've got to put my money into this and I've got to save this. And I've got... it's like my mind's like, no, I've got to do all of these things. And spirit's like, chill. It's literally on its way. And you're like, da, 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 da. like I, that's how I feel. Because um, it's kind of like humorous coming through. 
um i feel like whenever you're called to flow it's like i can do it myself and spirit's like but we're helping you're like i can do it that's the vibe that i'm being placed into um spirit guides tap me into my pile number ones what shifting for my pile number ones over the next six months one more card we have storyteller expression and i love how she's playing music and like we have the strings twice like we have this card and this card and they're playing the strings that's quite interesting some of you guys may be making music um but i do think music is very connected to the journey that you're going on even if it's just to help inspire you um but with storyteller and especially with the queen of swords being there as well i feel like i don't know if some of you guys because i feel like i'm first of all i want to say your voice has a lot of power in this lifetime so i also think affirmations and saying things out loud whether it's through mirror work and speaking into the mirror or whether it's speaking or whatever element you connect to speaking over water speaking over a flame you know speaking into the air um speaking into the earth or using crystals whenever you, you know you say your affirmations i feel like the, like speaking really helps you align with where you need to go but there's something about like getting out there or people hearing your story or people um i'm literally hearing that song it's like boom bitch get out the way like i'm hearing that i feel like there's something waking up in terms of your throat chakra in terms of like your inner voice and your inner power and i feel like that might be a key to what you're actually growing into people really hearing you if you really put in a solid foot forward i feel like i'm moving mountains like i'm being shown somebody singing and then mountains are moving um it doesn't have to literally be singing it can be speaking but there's something that i feel it, it's interesting because i don't know if you guys have very rich inner worlds or you connect to spirit a lot and then maybe people outside like misunderstand you sometimes i don't physically see what it is that you've got going on inside but there's something about like the part of the voice and people really hearing my voice and me going into that because then people can really see what's going on within and then they're starting to really see me and then I no longer feel misunderstood people are starting to see me and also energetically it's almost like creating a bridge into the physical to make movement there that's what I'm being shown as well I hope that makes sense so yeah, pile number one, that is what I have for you guys. I really hope that you enjoyed your reading. Hit the thumbs up and comments down below if you did. I'm sending you guys all of my love. I hope you have a beautiful morning, afternoon, evening, whenever you're watching. And hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. So thank you guys for watching. Hey pal two, welcome to your reading. So we are taking a look at what is shifting in your energy over the next six months you guys chose the sweet tooth perfume i'm gonna start with tarot and then we'll move on to your oracle card so let's get in so pile number two please spirit guides the sweet tooth pile tap me into my pile number twos tap me into my pile number twos birds are very significant for you guys like on a soul level i feel like you guys connect with birds you're probably that pile where i'm like i'm seeing crows but i feel because what i saw was um like a bird of prey like i literally got shown like i saw that you know the really big wings like i was being shown like an eagle or like a vulture or something like that i feel like birds are really significant for you guys it's almost a reference that i want to say pay attention to the birds um there may be a message there um but pile number two what is shifting in my pile number two's energies over the next six months? What is shifting? We have the eight of cups. What is shifting in my pile number two's energy over the next six months? What is shifting? We have the ten of pentacles. What is shifting in my pile number two's energy over the next six months? We have the seven of cups and the ace of wands. Okay. I'm just trying to make sure they all fit in so you can see them. I love this deck so much. Um, the back of the deck, you have the king of swords. Okay. So the eight of cups, the ten of pentacles, the seven of cups and the ace of wands okay i'm hearing that song 
waiting for love. I'm sure it was Avicii. And it's like Monday left me broken. Tuesday I was through with hoping. Um, and I know the end of it is like waiting for love. That's 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 basically the song. Um, but the way I'm feeling, you guys have done a lot of work uh, in terms of clearing a lot of connections or wounds from your past. I feel like you guys have really done a lot of work and I want to say cutting the fat. That's not normally a saying I say. Maybe some of you guys say that saying, but that's what I want to say. Like trimming the fat, cutting the fat, you know what I mean? Um, because I literally feel like, I literally, it's almost really loud from spirit. It's like, you're here. Like, I, I kind of want to tell you like you've arrived, like you're here, it's done like rejoice like that's honestly the um the message that i want to give i th there's a i i feel like i want to kick start where you're currently at because i feel like maybe you guys have been doing a lot of healing work or a lot of inner work or you've been like deeply connecting with spirit and channeling but to be honest with you it does feel more the subconscious side where you've been like roots like get into the roots like again cutting the fat i feel like i'm clearing and i feel like I literally keep being shown like a dark tunnel and I'm like looking at like a creepy looking guy, which I, I think it's more so like facing my demons, facing my wounds. But I feel like you guys have cleared so much and there's a reference of like the past is no longer here. Like that timeline has gone. The old has gone. Those connections have fallen away. You've, I keep being shown like ropes fallen. Like they no longer mean anything. Like we've disconnected. And I keep wanting to bring you into the present. Like look where you are. I keep wanting to reference like look how far you've come. This isn't even more so of like what's coming in the next six months. Because I feel like the next, the six months are just where you are. It's almost like I want you to like wake up and smell the perfume. And I feel like that's what spirit's getting you to do because there's a reference of like romanticizing your life or just having fun just to have fun. I feel like you guys have like been very serious for a little while. You know what I mean? Or had your head down for a little while or just had to be super serious. Or maybe your whole life you've had to. Maybe you've always had to be in survival mode. Maybe you've always had to be um like, you know, alert or you've you know you've had so much that you've had to like purge and clear but there's a reference of right now it's almost like i want to say i'm hearing the beatles song here comes the sun there may be a message in that song i'm hearing here comes the sun um by the beatles but i feel like i kind of want to do little things to bring that joy back into your life like i keep wanting to tell you like what are you running from or like where are you trying to run to like i keep wanting to bring you into the present it starts right now like I feel like I'm looking at a room. I don't know if some of you guys have recently moved house, but I feel like I'm looking at a room and everything's empty. And it's like, now I can color it and, and create whatever I want to. Like, now I can have fun. Now I can enjoy myself. And there's a really big usher in from spirit of the next six months. I kind of just want to say, enjoy yourself. Because I feel like you might have clicked onto this reading with the essence of like, okay, what do I need to clear now? What do I need to heal now? What do I need to align with? And spirit's like, you need to play, like you need to have fun, you need to enjoy yourself, you need to get to know this new version of you, you need to, and not in the sense of like, oh, pour into yourself, it's like, just listen to yourself and enjoy. A lot of the time as well, like even with the spiritual perspective, like, you know, when we do inner work and we really connect to spirit, we really reach our core. And we do a lot of deep inner work and I see that you've done that. But then we forget on the duality side that sometimes the lighter aspects are fun. And sometimes just like, putting on some light singing bowls is, is, is enough. And sometimes just being out in nature, not for like a purpose of like deep healing and connect. It's just like, just being out in nature, just reviewing nature. That's enough. You know what I mean? And just those lighter aspects of connecting with spirit, you know, we at times have to swim back into the shallow end just because we get tired if we were down in the deep end. Can you imagine swimming all the way down to the deep end? I can't imagine the arms that you, you, you get tired, your arms are tired, your legs are tired. You need to breathe some oxygen. You need to get back onto the surface. It's like, we're going to play in the shallow end now. We're going to build some sandcastles. We're going to get an ice cream from the ice cream place. You know, we had to put all that on the back burner because we needed to go into the trenches. We knew that there was something that we needed to gain, but that's, we've done that. And we don't always want to stay in this, this, this deep, healing cycle because sometimes we can get into like a healing trap where we just think we have to keep going and going and going and we stay in the past and spirit's like you've done so much and i kind of want to like stand like 
kind of like hold you back and look at everything that you've done like now it's time to rest and play go build a sandcastle go and run in the sand dunes like go and um you know what do we do on the beach go and be in you know paddle in the water and go and do these things it's like i want you to have fun and i feel like the next six months it's like rejoice that you got here rejoice where you are it happens right here in this moment and i think it, it's also going to be very inspiring for you in terms of wherever you head to next and it doesn't matter where you're heading necessarily next but right now you just want to enjoy i mean the perfume you chose is the sweet tooth perfume and the sweet tooth perfume is you know it, it's like a really like sugary sweet kind of smell and when you think of that you know sweets in if, if you eat a lot of sweets it's not that very good for you but when you've been on your diet and you've been eating healthy and you've been you know working out and you want to have a cheat day you want to have a day where you can just indulge or you want to have a day where you can just enjoy something like that and I feel like that's a period where you're getting into I feel like you've been so serious for so long I feel like for some of you guys you might have been like parentified children or you've had to like I feel like there's sweet moments where you could have enjoyed things and you had to like get your head down or maybe like your early 20s or your early 30s and you wanted to be having fun and enjoying but you had to get serious and it's like it's your time to enjoy now because especially with the seven of cups going into the ace of wands it's like i feel like you're going to be learning about yourself a lot there's so much to learn in the in the shallow end too there's so much to learn in the, in those fun moments too there's so much to learn about yourself and actually especially with the king of swords being at the back of the deck with the butterflies i really do feel like you're going to grow so much because the thing is when we everything's yin yang and what goes up must come down so as bright as a light that we can cast, we will also cast as much of a shadow. So when we've gone into those trenches and cleared and we've grown and evolved so much in that time period, think of how much we can grow then when we come back into the shallow end because we're going to see things so much deeper and we're going to have so much more connection to things that maybe we didn't even see before and we're going to find so much love in places that we didn't even see before we went down into the trenches there's so much more color there's so much more room for um i know it sounds weird this is like a weird sentence to say but there's so much more room for depth and i know that doesn't kind of make sense but there's like so much more space for you to experience love and experience joy and to experience fun and that is the purpose of the next six months i would even go further and say the next six to eight months and i think you're gonna grow a lot and I, I see a lot of fun and it'll probably start quite light as you get into the shallow end and it's like i'm a little bit tired i'm a little bit tired let me just chill out in a second let me just sit I, have you seen the, there's this meme of like this kid and she's on the beach and she's crying and she's like laying on the floor of the sand funnily enough it's like a beach thing and she's like i take a nap here like she's got american accent that's my american accent and she's like i take a nap here like she's like lying on the sand and she's i sounded irish but she's like crying but she just wants to like nap on the sand so when you come out of that depth you're probably gonna feel a bit fatigued probably feel a little bit detached i don't even know if i want to play i don't even feel inspired take the nap take the nap on the sand and then you're going to recalibrate and you're going to chill and then you're going to have start to have little ideas of little things that you want to do or things that you want to you know like whenever we connect to our build up our ego again or we connect to ourselves again there's so many things that come out and we start to find things that we like you know what i mean like perfumes that we like or music that we like and th there's so many new things that happen and i feel like that's the phase that you're that you're in i feel like you're learning about your likes and dislikes and finding things that you just didn't see before and it's a process i keep being shown you like walking out of the sea and it's like i'm picking different shells up and like I'm popping them in my pocket because it's like I didn't see that shell before I didn't see this shell before and it's like little things little truths and that get revealed you know what I mean things that spark your interest spark your heart space um you find yourself in in new avenues and music and colors and paintings and perfumes and smells and you know nature you, you find yourself in these new things that before you didn't see you know and i feel like that's the purpose of the next six months yeah i know you probably came here like rolling up the sleeves i know you did i could feel it in your energy you're like right what am i doing and spirit's like you're gonna have fun you're gonna have you're gonna have some fun that's what you're gonna do um 
let me pull your oracle cards now so pile number two pile number two what is shifting in my pile number two is the end of the next six months i see like i feel like i'm living life to like not to the extreme maybe some of you are maybe some of you guys are skydiving and traveling to the ends of you know the world or whatever but i feel like i'm ha like i'm hearing madison beer song i wonder where she sings about being happy for the first time in a while i'll link the song and honestly that vibe is how i feel see you feeling in the next six months i just see you feeling very joyful i'm gonna link the two songs because it was here comes the sun the beatles and um i wonder uh, Madison Beer. I don't know if there's a connection to the Beatles with you guys because or maybe there's like some songs that you may find that you connect to with the Beatles because Madison Beer, that album, she was inspired a lot by the Beatles and I think I wonder that specific song seems pretty inspired by them in my opinion. Some of you might not agree. Um, so there may be a connection to the Beatles songs. I would maybe put on, you know, like on Apple Music or whatever, it says like essentials, music essentials. Maybe look in their songs. I don't know much about the Beatles. I I only know a few songs, but um, I would maybe listen and and go through. There may be some songs you find that you like. Or there may be a message. But yeah, here comes the sun is the one that came up in the reading. So pile number two. What is shifting for my pile number twos over the next six months? We have DNA karma. What is shifting for my pile number twos over the next six months? We have summer solstice radiance. I literally said the Beatles, here comes the sun, and you have summer solstice radiance. Love that. Pile number two, please, break guides. And we have dream time creation, but I'm going to have to cover this little guy up. Let me get a crystal. What was I saying about, like, it inspiring you? I don't know if you can see. It's like creation. He's like creating. I don't know if you can see it properly. But yeah. Um, summer solstice, radiance, and creation. Why do we have karma, spirit guys? We have new beginnings at the back of the deck. And the sun's coming up there. Here comes the sun. Also, that song's playing now that I'm thinking sun, sun, sun. Um... I can see clearly now the rain is gone. It's just come up to my awareness as well. Um, so guys, why do we have karma? Why do we have karma? And the snakes shedding the skin. Yeah. I mean, some of you guys have literally been like clear in DNA. You know, when we heal and it can, it, it literally transforms our DNA. We literally clear our DNA. We, we transmute that. I feel like that's what you've been doing. And I feel like a lot of the heaviness that you purged, some of it wasn't even yours from this lifetime. I feel like some of it was your ancestors and I feel like it's been very very heavy for you and I feel like especially coming into this life or what it is that you've had to go through because I feel like you guys are my pal that have been through a lot I feel like you've carried a lot of weight from a lot of like your ancestors pain and hurts and wounds because I literally feel like I've got, um, I feel like I'm walking up a hill and I've got a massive boulder. I feel like I'm being slowed down. So while everybody's trying to enjoy, because they were able to run up to the hill, I'm still walking up it with this boulder. But I see you up at the top of the hill. I see you've taken the boulder off and now there's like the snake like shedding its skin. And now it's time to play and now it's time to bring all of that joy to you the summer solstice is like the sun's out here comes the sun and dream time creation especially if you've had your head down with either just like your healing journey or work or whatever it is you've had your head down i feel like you've had to really um i literally feel like i'm doing double the work like i'm trying to keep up with my peers or people in my age group as well as doing the clearing like i feel like i've had to be very serious and i feel with the dream time creation i feel like it's basically the pendulum swim swing into the other side you know, we have the idea, we have the dream, we have the, you know, inspiration. And then we like head and we start doing the work. You had the idea to go into the trenches and do that work to get yourself here, literally here. And then you went and did the work. And now it's time to flip the pendulum to the other side and go back to the shallow end and bask in 
why you did this in the first place because you did you did this work for you to be liberated and now the skin is shed so the version of you that walked into the water and was brave to walk into that water you're now bringing that gold back to that version of you like we did it and now i'm going to um rejoice and now i'm gonna play and build the sun castles and enjoy because that is what we did this for we did this so we could feel that you know liberation and that that's kind of the message from your guides i'm gonna pull uh your final oracle card now i keep wanting to sing that song and i don't know what movie it's from steve carell sings it it's like like a little sound on tiktok but i know it's from a movie and he sings the monster's gone He's on the run and your daddy's here. I'm hearing him sing that bit. And I know it's like a song from something, but I don't know it. I just know that part from TikTok. So I'm hearing that. The monster's gone. He's on the run and your daddy's here. I'm hearing that. Um, there's something that was so painful to you that you've cleared. And I keep wanting to tell you that you're safe or like you did it. Like I keep wanting to say it to you really strongly. Like, it's not even in your makeup anymore. It's gone. There's something I want to say to you that you've cleared. And I want to let you know you did it. Like, you've reversed something. You've taken the thorn out. You know, you, you've done something here. Yeah. There's something that I kind of want to confirm to you. Like, you don't have to keep revisiting it. You've done it. Pile number two, please, for guides. What is shifting over the next six months? For my pile number two's final card, what is shifting over the next six months? We have Athena, strategy, clarity, and intellect. Why do we have Athena, strategy, clarity, and intellect? Part of this as well because the, th the thing is, when we think of, like, our soul's growth and doing the inner work or whatever, we look at it like, oh, we're meant to just go and tap into all of these, like, wounds and we're meant to be doing the heavy work or whatever. And that's a, that's a part of it. That's a, that's a big part of it. But it's not the only part of it. Coming back to the surface, not only for air and for rest, but to enjoy, that's a huge part of it. And we grow so much in those time periods and especially when we're taught very young if we're like taught to self-sacrifice we're taught to be serious we're taught to shove our needs to the back or oppress them or we're taught that we have to you know take care of everyone around us we're not taught that play and fun and our needs and our happiness is a big part of the plot and actually it's our birthright and it's something that we're meant to have we're taught that we can only have that later on or we're taught that we can only have that when we do this this and this but if that's the case then we're never going to be able to have that because there's always something to do when we tap into our happiness and we create that happiness in the present moment that is the the point you know what i mean that is part of the growth period that is part of the strategy but when we're taught or we're not able to have that when we're young. We don't even think that that's part of the journey. We think we've got to keep pushing and going. And then we get burnt out. And then we start to continue to press. To, uh, to repress that those, those more happier feelings. And then we start to feel like the light's gone. We also need to feed those happy feelings. We also need to feed that joy. You've already been doing the heavy work and clearing and, and all of that. Now it's time to feed you and enjoy where you're at. It's time to eat the cake that you just made it's time to play on the beach you know now that you've done the hard work and that's how you're going to balance this energy out and i think that's the focus over the next six months pile two so yeah that is what i have for you guys i really hope that you enjoyed your reading hit the thumbs up and comment down below if you did i'm sending you guys all of my love i hope you have a beautiful morning afternoon evening whenever you're watching and hopefully i'll see you guys in my next video so thank you guys for watching hey pal three welcome to your reading so we are taking a look at 
what is shifting in your energy over the next six months so you guys chose the rem perfume i'm gonna start with tarot and then we're gonna move on to your oracle card so let's get in so pile number three please spirit guides the rem pile pile number three please spirit guides tap me into my pile number threes what is shifting in my pile number three i keep being shown the color black and red i don't know if you're wearing black or red or it's something to do with the read and or it's in your energy field we'll see it just flashed before me it's really weird like i'll feel colors it's odd um but that's it red and black those are the colors um pile number three please spirit guides pile number three tap me into my pile number threes what is shifting in my pile number threes energy over the next six months what is shifting in my pile number threes energy we have the lovers i'm gonna move this over just a tad just so we can get the cards in we have the lovers pile number three please that cat with the two cats cuddling that reminds me of my two boy cats jasper and vader they literally cuddle exactly like that at night they're just cuddling into each other um we have the knight of cups Pile number three. What is shifting and changing over the next six months? What is shifting and changing over the next six months? Ace of Pentacles. Pile number three. What is shifting and changing over the next six months? What is shifting and changing over the next six months? For my pile number threes. And we have the Ten of Pentacles. Love this. I love this. And the back of the deck, you have the six of wands. The back of the deck. Okay. Oh, this feels good. Okay. Um, it wouldn't shock me if a lot of you guys are single for this reading. If you're not, I just see a lot of growth in love over the next six months. Just if you're in a relationship, I just see a lot of growth there and a lot evolving there. So if you're in a relationship, take this as, um, again, like, proposals marriage baby wh whatever it is like getting a home together i just see like an accelerated motion there but if you are single i'm hearing the time has come <laughs> like i just feel like i'm ready like and it's it's more so like i'm setting this intention within myself like i feel like i'm ready i feel like i'm ready now um for love or i'm ready to open up or i'm ready to date um and it's not something that it's like it, this is something that feels very i feel very at ease with this feels like something that i'm just aligning with like i'm kind of just setting that intention energetically like that my heart is open and whatever comes in is meant to that's what i'm being shown because i do feel for a lot of you guys you may meet someone if you're single over the next six months that's what i'm being shown now remember time is in a state of flux so it could be a little later a little earlier depending on you know whatever um and it could be that this is just an energy that's being activated over the six months and then someone comes in don't stick to a time frame because sometimes when we're sticking our focus on something it can we can push it away but i honestly see just flowing i don't see anything being forced i just see you guys flowing it wouldn't shock me if um yeah i see you guys like sat, starting to talk to somebody or starting to i feel like i'm dating around but i feel like there's somebody that's gonna come in for a lot of you guys um and it feels very natural you know like sometimes when you you're outside and you see like a butterfly and then another butterfly like comes into contact with it and they kind of like swirl around each other there's something like that that i'm being shown energetically that's kind of how it's coming through but it's not even just in terms of relationship i just feel like i want to be around people more so even if it doesn't resonate with you in the, in the sense of like love and relationships like i feel like it's friendship and you know me guys like i am very serious when i do these readings like i don't like to give false hope i don't like to um just say things for the sake of it you know i'll tell you if i don't see certain things coming through and this was more of an energy thing but i I, I really do see connection and it, partnership. And again, it doesn't have to just be love. It can be friendship as well. Or it could even be like co-worker or like 
finding someone to work with like if you guys have been wanting to set up a business like finding somebody that aligns with you and your values in terms of like your career um that's what i'm being shown as well i just keep being shown connection like i'm open to connection some of you guys also may be repairing um something within with a family member only take that if it resonates and if that's somebody that you'd want to repair with um don't force that with someone that you would never want to talk to or someone that's hurt you or whatever like don't force anything but i i just see a contemplation there um or somebody coming to you in terms of like a family situation as well um i feel like i'm coming with a message that's kind of like how it's coming through but i see you guys like i see you tapping into like that need for connection um that need of like wanting to be around other people and not because it's like i don't like being on my own i think if you guys were on your own since you've been single for like a little longer i don't think you guys would be bothered it's just that i see you guys like you know what i'm ready to connect with people i'm ready to nurture other like connections with people i'm ready to open up i'm ready to be around people and i see a lot of sun being shone like back to you um if there's a friend that you haven't been super close to for a while or maybe you were just on an inner journey or they were on an inner journey i see that coming back around um and i see like because i'm literally being shown like two dolphins just like kind of jumping together and this feels more like friendship wise or if you've had a sibling that maybe you've drifted from for whatever reason you know how life can go i see something like that i feel like a unison of something but this doesn't feel relationship this feels friend wise like i feel like a like i'm i'm uniting with somebody or something needed to fall away so it could come back in a different form and now it is i'm being shown that but i see a lot of joy like i almost feel like i want community i'm tapping into that part of myself where i want community i want people around me i want to experience connections with people and i feel like it's going to start slow and then you're going to start to bring people in and i feel like that's where a relationship would also come in um because i feel like for a lot of you guys i feel like this i'm here and start with something new which is high school musical um but i'm hearing that so i feel like you may even thinking of like that song when they met like they met randomly it was kind of like they were just put on i mean i know it was a movie but they were put on to a stage to sing together so something may happen not literally like that but you may like bump into somebody or you may have to like start a new job and there's somebody there i just feel like for those of you that are single with a relationship i see i see something happening really steady and really nice i see somebody coming in with some sort of offer it feels fresh it does feel new i don't see anything from the past um but it's it's more to do with connection it's more to do with maybe you've done a lot of work on your own and now it's time to connect with other people and i feel like that's the process over the next six months kind of bringing people in and learning through other people maybe you've been nurturing yourself for some time to the point that you're like i'm ready to nurture other people i'm ready to nurture connection and again if you were in a relationship i feel like it will affect your current relationship in terms of pouring back into that that, that, that like an expansion in terms of the connection you already have and in turn that creates an up level in there you know what i mean um because something's being nurtured more or something's hitting deeper um and i see something evolve in there in terms of a relationship especially if you've already been seeing somebody then it's like turning into a relationship that type of thing um so i'm being shown that but i i just it feels like I, i'm around people more whereas i normally decide oh, i want to go home and chill out by myself it's like actually i want to go see this friend or i want to go and you know spend time here or like maybe you have co-workers and they always ask you to um come out for like a drink or come out after work and you're like mm, i don't know I, i'm more of a loner i want to be by myself i see that changing within you like you know what i will i want to be around other people i want to experience other people and it's again it's not coming from an unhealthy i need people it's coming from I want this, you know, I, I want that part of community. I want to heal that connection to community. And that's what I see happening here. Um, and I see a lot of joy there as well, because it's like the light you're giving out. It's being shined back onto you. Uh, that's what I'm being shown. And, and that's where I see for the singles, I, I see a relationship happen. And if it doesn't happen over the next six months, the energy is putting you on that timeline for it. 
And like I said, I don't normally say that unless I see it, but I'm seeing it really strong here because it's like, I'm ready to learn through other people. I'm ready to connect with other people. I'm ready to tap into those feelings deeper. I'm ready to be, you know, like to tap into that intimacy with my friends and my relationships and my, you know, my, my connections with my family. I want to go deeper there. And I feel like the next six months, it's going to start slow. So I feel like some of you guys may get an offer or get invited somewhere. And then I feel like it's going to build from that. There's something to do with family family though for some of you only take it if it resonates there's something to do with family and a connection to like a family member blooming or growing there could even be in your family somebody that gets pregnant so you could have a sibling that you're already you know pretty close to and then that sibling has gets pregnant i just see keep being shown expansion there which is making me think of like babies you know um coming in it's like we're multiplying type of thing a fruit on the family tree type of thing but i also see like a repairing of something or spending more time with people in your family um i'm nurturing a connection with somebody in my family that before maybe i wasn't nurturing as much i was more focused on me for whatever reason it's like i'm ready to nurture that um or connect to that or start something new with that i keep hearing start as something new high school musical I keep hearing that. You may be going through a lot of seventh house transits as well. Um, yeah. You may have your birthday over the summer period too, like from spring to summer. You may have your birthday. If so, happy birthday. A happy belated birthday. A happy early birthday. Um, and you may be already feeling the transits of like your solar return and a lot of transits happening in that seventh house. Could also be going through your seventh house perfection year. Um, that's another one that i'm seeing but yeah i see i it's like i want to i want something real like i want to connect to people and i'm enjoying connecting to people and i'm learning from people um it feels really lovely like this energy honestly the energy of the last three piles like i've there's just a lot of joy here a lot of joy a lot of joy let's pull your oracle cards pile number three Pile number three. Pile number three. Pile number three, please, spirit guides. Pile number three. What is shifting in my pile number three's energies over the next six months? What is shifting in my pile number three's energies over the next six months? We have dawn, new beginnings. This has literally come out in every pile. New beginnings has come out in every single pile. Pile number three. We have creation. This came out in pile two as well. Um, I have shuffled them. They're just all... Maybe you were drawn to both piles. I don't know. Might have been drawn to two and three. Um, pile number three, please, spirit guides. Pile number three, please, spirit guides. We have a wake-up call, a tsunami. And on the back of the deck, you have Vigilance, the Stone People. Okay. Yeah, I feel like you've already done the much needed work on yourself. Maybe you've just chosen to be single or just you've always been a bit of a lone wolf. And now you're learning through other people. It's like you've almost like established a frequency of your own before you've connected with other people. Or maybe you went down to clear wounds and then came back out and now you're connecting with other people um but i do see a really big shift which feels it's more collective focus the big shift because i've seen it a lot in my readings it actually came after the eclipse um that was a really powerful one but that's what i'm being shown but with creation i feel like it's interesting because i see you getting inspired by other people i feel like you've always been more of i, I not necessarily an introvert but i feel like you've always been like I like how do I put it into words maybe instead of reading books you were the one writing them and inspiring others maybe instead of um following trends you were the one creating them now that's always going to stay because you're quite innovative I feel um but you're going to get inspired by other people and I see you actually analyzing 
others in terms of I never would have done that but actually it's pretty genius or like I never would have used those colors together but that's actually inspired me to blend my own colors and I see you learning through other people um even like things that maybe in the past you would have been like I never would have gotten into a connection like that or I never would have gotten a job like that I don't know how that lifestyle could even you know be had I'm not going to judge but it's just not for me whereas I see you almost looking at it from a perspective of I could never do it but that's so you and I love that that's your color and your hue and your rhythm and that's how you live your life and actually your perspective of life is helping me gain clarity where I am I see you like it, it, maybe places where you would have been like not for me or and no just dis like disrespect or like no judgment but you might have like slightly judged in the past like never you may be like actually I mean I still wouldn't do it but that's you and I love that that's you like I love that that's a different color and I love that and now it's like it's almost like inspiring me in a way I, th that's what I see I see you get inspired by other people and of course with the wake up call card sometimes you know especially when we start to connect to other people there may be little things that can trigger us because that happens if you hear random noises it's like literally the thing that i'm on it's making noises but um i see you at moments maybe getting triggered or like oh i don't know but it's having you adapt and be like actually um this is actually room for me to maybe put my foot down or this is room for me to say my own piece or this is actually room for me to reflect on even why this is triggering me in the first place and i see a lot of growth there with the tsunami card especially with the moon being in the background yeah i see a lot of growth a lot of growth apologies i was just hiccuping um pile number three final card pile number three final card please spirit guides pile number three what is shifting for my pile number threes over the next six months we have a star which is um like that spring energy we have fruition ease and relaxation Let me see the back of the deck as well. We have Tara, Hope Star, Renewed Purpose, Fresh Energy. That's, like I said, that's been very much a focus over the collective just with readings. But I feel like for you guys, I feel like, especially with the lovers leading the reading, I mean, the lovers is like a mirror card. So it, the greatest mirrors to us in life for other people. And I feel like you're really going to see that, but in a really beautiful way. I think you're going to get really... It's like you've always been the daffodil, but it's like now you're starting to really see like how the petunias and the orchids and the roses and the sunflowers, you know, shine onto you the way you shine onto them and how beautiful it is to have that color and getting inspired by them. And just because I'm a daffodil doesn't mean I have to just stand here on my own because I'm the only daffodil. I can, I'm still a flower and it's still, you know, we're all part of Mother Gaia. Let me go stand with the periwinkles and learn from them and have a chat with the daisies. Like, you know, it's like that type of vibe. I see you really learning and, and, and growing through other people, which is really lovely. And I see like a lot of rebirth in your connections. And if you are single relationships coming in, because I think that's the purpose of the next phase for you. Um, yeah so pile number three that is what i have for you guys i really hope that you enjoyed your reading hit the thumbs up and comment down below if you did i'm sending you guys all of my love i hope you have a beautiful morning afternoon evening whenever you guys are watching and hopefully i'll see you guys in my next video so thank you guys for watching